During Lunar New Year's, Koreans get together and have a meal. We traditionally have dakguk, which is rice rice cake soup, and songpyeol, which is sweet rice cake. We also play yunnori, which is traditional Korean board game that involves sticks and teams, and you have a lot of fun together. Food-wise, um, we eat a lot of twangyuan fan, or food that brings people together, literally. Um, and they include things like dumplings um, and other common scrumptious uh, home-cooked meals. Um, secondly, um, we're involving games and other traditions. Um, children often get red envelopes, and that's like a characteristic typical of Chinese New Year. Red envelopes contain money, and they're given to the children in celebration. Uh, in Vietnamese tradition, we clean the house um, right before New Year's, so on, Lunar New, uh, on New Year's Eve. Um, the children are in charge of sweeping the house and basically it's to sweep away the bad luck from the past year. Some of the traditions we have in Taiwan is um, dependent on the foods we eat. So we base them off of um, popular Chinese sayings that will bring prosperity and fortune to our families. For example, we have fish because um, of the saying yin yin yu yu. And we have ping guo to bring peace to our family because there's ping, ping an an. And we also typically have hot pot for dinner with our families because it's like a melting pot that brings everyone together. I think something that's pretty unique to Singapore is we have this tradition called lo hei, where it's it's basically a vegetarian dish, and you know all everyone will gather around and using chopsticks they'll kind of like you know um, lo, which is to basically like. Uh, to mix up the different like salad together and as you do it you say really auspicious things like you know for the new year I just watched the CCTV Lunar New Year festival thing and all like the crazy numbers and the dances and the dresses that part's really fun that's one part that I really look forward to every year um, some of the traditions that we have back home it's like uh, we visit our family and friends on and we go to like different houses and we collect like ampals and um, we just like eat a lot oh, a lot of cookies and like food, good food, great food. It means a lot to me because that's when all my family gets together and spends time with each other. Lunar New Year means being able to see everyone in my family at the same place at the same time. Um, it's a really rare occasion that I get to see everyone from my family. And it's just, it makes for great conversation and great company. It's a chance for the family to get back together and to really celebrate our culture and kind of the uniqueness of um, what Asian culture has to offer. I can say that it kind of reminds me of a childhood. Um, even though, like, you know, um, I didn't really celebrate it when I was living in Japan. Um, but, yeah, um, really it's about family, friends, and just um, celebrating the reaps of every year. So, Lunar Year for us is a time of coming together. Um, it is a time back in China when everyone who has come to the big cities to work or elsewhere in the world, um, return home to spend it with their families and to celebrate the coming of this new beginning. We present offerings to our ancestors. So basically we'll offer food or drinks and it's basically so that they can join the celebration with us. Lunar New Year is all about celebration, festivities and like just like fun with other people your friends and family. All in all, it's really about being together, about celebrating, you know, being with family and being with friends. So that's what... Happy
Happy New Year!